Good morning everybody and welcome to our Monday morning gathering. The prologue to, the prologue to the Monday morning communions. I enter the eternal and infinite garden with reference, reverence to the Heavenly Father, the Earthly Mother and Great Masters. Reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching. Reverence to the Brotherhood of the Elect. Monday morning, we commune with the angel of life by saying, angel of life, enter my limbs and give me strength to my whole body. You now contemplate trees as you feel yourself absorbing vital healing energy forces from the trees and forests of the Creator's garden. Thanks be to you, O God, that I have risen this day to the rising of this life itself. May it be a day of blessing, O God of every gift, a day of new beginnings given. Help me to avoid every sin and the source of every sin to forsake. And as the mist scatters from the crest of the hills, may each ill haze clear from my soul. Oh God. Oh How foolish it is to deny the existence of God, or to say that God is dead. But yet there are many who do so, they say it in the way they live, if not in the words they speak. Our great God is forever searching for those who will open their lives to him. He is not looking for such in verbal professions alone but in the way men live and act. He sees denial and rebellion in the lives of all men. What good they do is tainted by sin and self-centeredness. They are more apt to be destructive than creative. How foolish they are if they neglect to surrender their lives to God. It is obvious that God works through those who trust him through those who dedicate their lives to his service. It is they who are set free from self-glory to enjoy and to serve the living God. They can truly celebrate the eternal presence of God. We remember now all the victims of violence. Psalm 22 verse 16, they have pierced my hands my feet. From the Jain tradition, non-violence is the highest religion. From the Hindu tradition, we pray for peacemakers everywhere. The work of advocates and mediators in conflict resolution. The movement to ban the sale and deployment of weapons. Education for peace throughout the world the redeployment of resources away from war and toward peace. Do not fear. He who fears hates. He who hates kills. Break your sword and throw it away. I have been delivered from desire and fear, so I know the power of God. <coughs> o Lord, remember not only the men and women of goodwill, but also those of ill will. But do not remember all the suffering they have inflicted on us. Remember the fruits we brought thanks to this suffering. Our comradeship, our loyalty, our humility, the courage, the generosity, the greatness of heart which has grown out of this. When they come to judgment, let all the fruits we have borne be their forgiveness. That was found on a victim at the Ravensbrück concentration camp. <coughs> I read uh, today's reading, today's offering from our bravery day by day with St. Francis, and I offer this for, for you and take what, from it what you will. For the 9th of January. Another time, Blessed Francis said, The religion and life of the lesser brothers is a little flock, 
which the Son of God, in this very last hour, has asked of his heavenly Father, saying, Father, I want you to make and give me a new and humble people in this very last hour, who will be unlike all of those who preceded them by their humility and poverty, and be content to have me alone. And the Father said to his beloved Son, My Son, your request has been fulfilled. This is why Blessed Francis would say, Therefore the Lord has willed that they be called lesser brothers, because they are the people whom the Son of God asked of the Father. They are the ones of whom the Son of God speaks in the Gospel. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it has pleased your Father to give you the kingdom, and again, what you did for one of these, the least of my brothers, you did it for me. For all the Lord was, uh, may be understood to be speaking of all the spiritually poor, he was nevertheless predicting the religion of the lesser brothers that was to come in his church. Therefore, as it was revealed to Blessed Francis that he it was, it, it was to be called the religion of the lesser brothers, he had it so written in the first rule when he brought it before the Lord, Pope Innocent III. And he approved and granted it, and later announced it to all the council. Likewise, the Lord also revealed to him the greeting that the brothers should use, as he had written in his testament. The Lord revealed a greeting to me that we should say, May the Lord give you peace. At the beginning of the religion, when Blessed Francis would go with a brother who was one of the first twelve brothers, that brother would greet men and women along the, the way, as well as those in their field, saying, May the Lord give you peace. And because people had never before heard such a greeting from any religious, they were greatly amazed. Indeed, some would say, almost indignantly, What does this greeting of yours mean? As a result, that brother began to be quite embarrassed. Then he said to Blessed Francis, Let me use another greeting. Francis told him, Let them talk, for they do not grasp what is of God. But do not be embarrassed, for one day the nobles and princes of this world will show respect to you and the other brothers because of a greeting of this sort. Blessed Francis said, isn't it great that the Lord wanted to have a little people among all those who preceded them, who would be content to have him alone, the most high and most glorious? Now we will want to our intercessions, O Christ of the poor, and the yearning kindle in my heart within. A flame of love for my neighbour, for my foe, for my friend, for my kindred all. From the humblest thing that lives to the name that is highest of all, kindle in my heart within a flame of love. Pray for the coming day and for justice and peace. Remembering today, in particular, all those with mental illness, which is high profile in the UK today, as we anticipate the Prime Minister's words on what she intends to, to do for those who are experiencing mental health difficulties. The kiss of the sun for pardon, the song of the birds for mirth, one is nearer God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and all that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God, in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. 
your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth with the bread we need for today feed us in the hurts we absorb from one another forgive us in times of temptation and strength and test strengthen us from trials too great to endure spare us from the grip of all that is evil free us for you reign in the glory of the power that is love now and forever chance of requests and we remember as we end to morning this morning's communion all those who are in our hearts holding all to hear and all on our lists who need healing and love and particular thoughts and prayer at this time. Thank you.